Gemala Document Management for Confluence Cloud. Approvals and Reviewers. An approval in cloud can be configured so that users can be manually assigned using the workflow pop-up or no manual assignment is allowed. If the approval cannot have manual assignment, then anyone can undertake the approval. Only a single reviewer decision is required to action the approval transition. You can also pre-assign reviewers. User avatars will be added to the workflow pop-up. All pre-assigned reviewers must undertake and agree on the approval decision for the approval transition to occur. You can only change the reviewers by editing the workflow. Even then, the reviewers will only be changed on the next transition into the state containing the approval. Remember, you must have view and edit permission to undertake the approval, even if you are assigned. An approval is manually assignable, allows a user to add one or more reviewers using the workflow pop-up on the content. Anyone can approve until a user is assigned. Once a reviewer is assigned, only the assignee can undertake the approval. Adding multiple assignees means they must all agree on the approval decision. Assignees can be unassigned if they have not yet undertaken an approval decision. You can also choose to pre-assign users as reviewers, but for an approval that is assignable, these pre-assigned reviewers can be unassigned and additional reviewers can be assigned. There is no limit to the number of assignees. Let's look at how the approval can be configured using Workflow Builder. You can edit an approval in Workflow Builder to set the way reviewers are managed for that review. There are three options that can be set. Anyone can approve, no restrictions. Users can be assigned through the UI, the workflow pop-up. You can set all reviewers that have to approve. You can also specify the minimum number of reviewers who must undertake and agree on the approval decision for the approval transition to occur. This minimum will be for both the rejected and the approved decision. Let's look at anyone can approve. It simply adds the approve and reject button for the workflow pop-up and anyone with edits and view permission can undertake the approval. A single decision transitions the content. This is displayed in the JSON code as simply the name of the approval. If you allow manual assignment of reviewers, the second option, the workflow pop-up simply has a plus and the add reviewer option. You can assign one or more reviewers, but they all must agree for the transition to occur. Once you've assigned one reviewer, the approve and reject buttons are disabled for anyone else. A reviewer must then be assigned before they can undertake an approval decision. In the JSON code, the approval becomes assignable, set as true. You can also pre-assign reviewers for a manually assignable approval. Simply add the users individually or enter a confluence group name. The reviewer avatars are added to the workflow pop-up, but you can still assign further reviewers. You can also unassign these reviewers that have been pre-assigned, but you must be assigned to be able to undertake the approval decision. In the JSON code, it uses the parameter pre-assigned users. If you want to mandate reviewers, you're going to set all the reviewers that have to approve. You must enter either individual users or the confluence group name or names. There is no option to unassign or assign other users or reviewers. The workflow approval is disabled for anyone who is not assigned. The JSON code has pre-assigned users as a parameter for the approval. If you set minimum reviewers for anyone can approve, it will simply add outline avatars for the number of reviewers required. Anyone can undertake the decision until the minimum number is reached and the approval transition occurs, existing users can change their decisions. In the JSON, the parameter minimum is added. If you're using minimum reviewers, when you have an assignable approval, you simply have the minimum number of approvers avatars added. You don't have to assign anyone to the approval, but assigning someone does not stop anyone with edit and view permission for the content to undertake the review. When using the minimum reviewers with an assignable review, if the approval has been set with a minimum number of required approvers, which is greater than the assignees, the approval is active for anyone. Once you have a number of assignees, which is equal to that minimum or greater, then the approval buttons become disabled for all other users. You can use the minimum parameter when you are setting all the reviewers that have to approve. If the minimum is less than the pre-assigned reviewers, 
then you do not need all the pre-assigned reviewers to undertake and agree on the review for the approval to transition. You simply need the minimum. The workflow report will show that three people have been pre-assigned. You've only two people who've undertaken and agreed the decision for the workflow to change state. The minimum takes priority over the pre-assigned users list. Again, it can be pre-assigned users or pre-assigned users who are a member of a pre-assigned group. Looking at the approval, if the approval has been set with a minimum number of reviewers, which is less than the pre-assigned reviewers, the approve and reject buttons are active for anyone else. Once the number of reviewers who've been pre-assigned and have pending decisions, plus those users who've undertaken the decision equals the minimum, the approve and reject buttons are disabled for all other users. Here's a summary of managing reviewers in a cloud approval. Using Workflow Builder, you can set anyone can approve. You can set so that users can be assigned using the workflow pop-up, either with no reviewers pre-assigned or with reviewers pre-assigned. You can assign and unassign reviewers until all those users who have been assigned agree. Third way is mandating reviewers, setting all reviewers that have to approve. And only those users that are assigned on transition into the state by the workflow can undertake the review. The behavior does change if you set a minimum number for each of these use cases. And if the minimum number of reviewers is set, then anyone can approve if the assigned reviewers is less than the minimum set.